This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. You want to start this one? I will. That was nice of you to let me start this, right? <laughs> I'm at a loss for words. Well, you know. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about some classic TV shows. And, of course, um, still airs all over the world. That may be one of those shows that has never stopped airing uh -huh. all over the world, and that's Leave It to Beaver. Leave It to Beaver, yep. And they just um, uh, were kind of the iconic parents. Yeah. I don't know anybody that had parents like them, but you know, that certainly didn't match my household. But <laughs> Well, you had Ozzie and Harriet that was kind of that Harriet. way. Ozzie and Harriet. But really, uh, even when it went to TV, but uh, both David and Ricky were a little bit older at that right. time. And of course, yeah. Ricky was trying to be a rock star. But in Leave it to Beaver, you had a couple of brothers that were some years apart, mm -hmm. you know, and so it, it and, and of course the Cleaver family was, uh, I guess that iconic family of the 50s. Yeah. You know, I mean, dad got home and the only thing is you look at it now and say, he got home and he never took off his jacket and his tie. You know? Well, he might put on a, uh, a sweater yeah. sometimes and yeah, and he would sit and read the newspaper and smoke that <laughs> smoke be pipe, be yeah. beautiful pipe and he just always had words of wisdom. Yeah, you know, and who didn't want a dad like that? And June always had her, little, you know, her little string pearls of pearls. And and her and hair was always done <laughs> yeah. and she'd be washing and cooking and doing all these things and she looked like she just stepped out of, you know, the fashion. Yeah, really. <laughs> Really. Now, it didn't match my reality at all. No. Well, but the thing is, is that was it. It was something to kind of look at, to uh, look up to maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And say, you know, that, that's, that's a way a family can, can be happy. Right. And they so. were happy. They were, they were encouraging of one another. And yes, yeah, so a lot of positive qualities. Yeah. So what we're going to talk about with this segment is the um, the dad of that show, Hugh Beaumont. Yes, and he's that's, from Kansas. He's from Kansas. We don't make this stuff up, people. We don't have to. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. I actually was blown away to find out he was well, from Kansas. Well, I, I didn't know it either till somebody did the research on the story. <laughs> and, you know, when, when I got that story, I thought, really? I had really? No I know. That's exactly what I thought. Seriously? Another amazing Kansan. Yeah. So. Let's take a look. He was the most famous dad in America, and his character was the measuring stick for fathers for decades. The Cleaver household became the standard folks aspired to and remains a cultural icon. Even Rich Williams, guitarist in the band Kansas, said he had a Beaver Cleaver upbringing, knowing that folks would understand the reference. And now the classic TV show Leave it to Beaver, Ward and June Cleaver, were the idealized suburban parents. Ward, a white-collar professional, and June, the pearl-wearing housewife, their boys, Wally and Theodore, the beaver, were the focus of the show, learning life lessons and always firmly guided by a wise dad. Beaumont was the perfect choice to portray that dad. The Lawrence Journal World reported that he was born in Lawrence in 1909, though other accounts say it was actually Eudora. Beaumont's own father was a traveling salesman, so the family moved often. Beaumont passed away while visiting his son in Munich in 1982. In addition to his acting career, Beaumont was an ordained Methodist minister. He once commented on his chosen profession that, sometimes my work as an actor presents a conflict with my ideals as a clergyman. I don't believe in the old saying that the end justifies the means, and no money that I can earn as an actor can accomplish so much good that I would feel justified in violating my ideals to earn it. If the question ever arises in a serious way, of course, I would have to give up my acting. Ward Cleaver couldn't have said it better. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need, and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. <laughs> 